Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today I'm going to show you how to make this ice cream sandwich with chocolate chip cookie dough that you can eat all inside. So keep watching and I'll show you step by step how to make this. To make this, you want to start off with one cup of sugar. You also want to add 12 tablespoons of softened butter. Just soften it at room temperature. Now just put your paddle attachment on and we just want to beat this for a few minutes, maybe about four or five minutes until everything's well combined and it actually changes to a lighter color. Well, I've transferred the contents of that into a larger bowl so that I can move on to the next step and add more ingredients. First thing I'm going to add is one large egg. Next, I'll add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then I'm just going to blend this up until it is well combined. Now I'm going to add two thirds a cup of cocoa powder. I'm using Hershey's Special Dark, but if you use the Dutch blend, it'll work well, just as long as it's a dark cocoa powder. Um, I'm sifting this and just to get all the lumps and stuff out of it. And start off on low and mix this really good. Okay, now that that's mixed up really good, we're going to start adding our flour. And just add your flour a little at a time. And you'll notice at the end that the dough gets pretty hard to mix with a mixer. You can just switch to a wooden spoon and just mix it right up from there. Now that we mixed it all up, we're just going to put it on some plastic wrap that I have laid out here. And it should be real thick like a Play-Doh consistency. Now just take this, stick it in the refrigerator for at least an hour for it to chill. I have a pan that I lined with some wax paper here. And I have some ice cream. This is just regular vanilla ice cream. You can use whatever flavor you want. I'm going with vanilla. I'm just going to take it. I'm going to line it. The ice cream has been sitting out for a bit, so it's, it's pretty soft. And I'm just going to line this pan with the ice cream. I only want it to be about an inch thick, so about an inch high. And when you're happy with how level it is and the thickness, just take this, sit it back in the freezer because we wanted to get it nice and hard. Well, we're going to start rolling out the dough, but before I do that, I want to coat my surface with some flour. But I want the cookies to stay dark, so I'm going to add a little bit of the cocoa to the regular flour. Just mix that up. This way, that will be used for a rolling surface. You can also use it for your rolling pin as well. Coat it with that so we don't have any sticky spots. So just coat it really good. And I have my dough out of the refrigerator. It was in there a little over an hour. You want to roll it really thin. About an eighth of an inch would be good. And just take cookie cutter. You can use a round cookie cutter. I just want to use the square one just because it looks better. And just cut your little squares. Try to cut as many as you can. And if it comes out like that, that's great. Just pop it right on your baking sheet. Now just take your cookies, put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. And when they come out of the oven, let them cool completely. Just take your ice cream out of the freezer. This is the ice cream we put in there in this tin. And I'm gonna just pull the whole thing out. Then just take your square cookie cutter and press down. If you make it really deep like this, just take a knife or something to cut the excess around it off. Just take your cookie, your ice cream I should say, place it right on there and we can kind of just press it down as we pull the cookie apart from it cookie cutter I should say okay and that will be the cookie 
Now, if you just want ice cream cookie, you can do that and that will be it. But we got a special little twist here. In addition to the ice cream that I cut out, I'm also gonna cut out, this is eggless cookie dough, which is completely edible. And I made this ahead of time. I made this in another recipe. I'll put a link in the description below, as well as one of those little eye in the skies. You can click it and go over and see the recipe, how to make this, it's really simple. Now, I'm gonna cut this out, just like I'm gonna do the, that I did the ice cream. So I'm just gonna cut it out with my cookie cutter. Place it right on your ice cream sandwich. There you go. Now that's an ice cream sandwich. Now comes the best part of every video and that's the taste test. I'm gonna give this a try. Now this is huge, it's humongous. You can of course make it smaller if you want, but I'm all about huge. So I'm going to give this a go. This is good. It has the ice cream of a vanilla ice cream. It has the uh, chocolate chip cookie dough in there. It has the chocolate cookie. And it's just, wow, it's good. Well, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing me make this ice cream sandwich with this cookie dough in there. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Also hit that big red subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, you get new videos every week. And be sure to check out some of the videos I have off to the side. I'm sure you'll enjoy those as well. And if you want to see how to make this cookie dough, this edible cookie dough that's eggless, be sure to check out the link. I'll have it in the description below to that recipe, as well as in one of those cards in throughout this video. So until then, guys, I'll see you next week.